Hey everyone, hello and welcome, Tony Bing here. For this test centre video, we'll be having a look at Moon Knight. Now, he is without a doubt a hero I'm really not familiar on at all, so you may have to bear with me when I go through these skills, and if there's anything I miss out, please feel free to correct me or point it out in the comments section. But let's look at the first section, which is Lunar Legionnaire. So for his first skill we're looking at his main kind of melee fist spender which is spike gauntlets and this is a, a basic melee attack and it does extra damage versus his enemies that are bleeding and then following it up we have his roll combat maneuvers and that gives you a buff of movement and attack speed there when you use it for 4 seconds and then we have a basic melee attack which is actually using his staff rather than fists and with this uh, this ties into his new resource which uh, restores Conchu's favour if that's how you actually say it and then we have Cestus Uppercut this has got a 4 second cooldown here and it's a, a melee bleed and then we have Crescent Snare which is a ranged weaken attack and then we have Staff Sweep which is a kind of channeled one and it's not channeled in that you charge it up and it'll go off but you can channel and hold it down and it'll sweep the staff around and then we have Titanic Slam, which I believe is a new one, so I'll show this one off. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's a new skill. Don't quote me 100%, but I think it is new. And then we have Nunchuck Bulldoze. And then finally we've got his signature Gruesome Frenzy, which just operates the same as it would there. So let's look at the next section, which is the range side of things, Crescent Crusader. So with this section you're starting off with Crescent Dart Throw which is a, a ranged basic attack and that does bonus damage very uh, versus bleeding so it's very similar to the kind of melee equivalent there. And then we have Truncheon Ricochet and this will hit a total of 8 enemies. And next up we then have Crescent Fan which is a ranged area bleed there. Uh, the duration of the bleed is 8 seconds. And then we have Crescent Launchers so with this it's quite similar to the... Um, moon staff and then it's another skill which re restores Conchu's favour for you and then we have tripwire bolas which will immobilise the enemy for two seconds and finally a new skill this is pretty nice angel wing attack run so I'll activate it it's quite funny the tooltip but it says needs a new text very much still work in progress but let's activate it this way so we can see it there we go it's quite nice I do like the whole shadow of the ship flying overhead there now what I've left for last in this section is the, I don't even know what you would you would call these as, resources maybe now. And you've got Avatar of Vengeance and Statue of Conchu. So these I believe are slightly changed a little bit from how they were on live. With it, health is reduced to 1, cannot be regenerated and cannot uh, be reduced below 1. 0 0.3 of health you deal is returned to you as health when gift expires. And then for the Statue of Conchu we have requires and spends 100% of Conchu's favour, health regen 10% of max per second, base damage and also crit a chance of 25% there. But let's have a look at the talents and traits and this will fill in some of the gaps in the kit. So first up we have offensive trait and that would be Fist of Conchu. So it's brutal strike chance 3%, Narch type is bruiser, so you're gaining bonus damage from the durability and fighting attributes. For the defensive trait we have carb Carbonadium Armour, so damage absorbed is 10% per 25% of missing health, so you still thankfully got that mechanic, the lower his health the more tough he gets. The arch type is tough, which gives you defence and deflect. Now for the actual talents we have Fear of God, so brutal strikes terrify enemies for 1.5 seconds and generate 30 conscious favour of a 3 second cooldown. Your brutal strike chance goes up by 3% as well, so that ties in nice with the Fist of Conchu up there. And then we have Tribute, so Gruesome Frenzy damage, 10%. Gruesome Frenzy generates 5 Conchu's favour per hit, and its finishing crush generates 50 Conchu's favour, so that's quite nice. And then Divine Protection, so you generate 100% of your maximum health from Conchu's favour when you're defeated. Maximum health from about 1500, defence rating multiplier times 10 and you restore 10 Conchu's favour when you get hit. So for talent line number 2 we have Tribute Punch. If Conchu's favour is full, Cesta's uppercut damage is buffed by 50%. If it's not full, the, it restores 5% of your maximum Conchu's favour. So this can help get that up quicker there so you can start using these particular kind of resources. And next up in this line we have a ranged bonus here. So Crescent Dart Throw transforms into Explosive Crescent Dart. 
it deals damage with an area and crescent launchers bounce up to four times and then we have aerial attack so with this angel wing attack run max charges two recharge rate comes down and titanic slam gains more charges and the recharge rate comes down so that can be good for giving you a bit more mobility on and we'll even activate it so you can see it there let's see it takes a moment to recharge so there we go that's not bad at all that combined with your dashes and your your kind of glide which you can use let's see your glider cape really will help us move about a fair bit and for talent line three we have impact wave so crescent fan damage plus 200 percent crescent fan max charges to and the recharge rate five seconds and then we have spare trunctions with this uh, the max charges on it is a uh, three the ricochet recharge rate four seconds and the, the trunction ricochet bonus effect base damage five percent for melee powers it gives you duration for four seconds and that stacks up to three times so you could fire multiple of these off just before you're about to engage a mob and then once you engage you'll get your melee damage bonus that's nice as well and then we have better bolas so tripwire bolas deal additional damage over time and they immobilize as well there and then we have talent line number four so it's tools of vengeance cestus gauntlet now with this cestus uppercut damage is 150 percent cestus uppercut cooldown four percent crit hit chance plus five percent and spike gauntlets gain a crit hit chance of five percent as well there and then we have tools of vengeance which is a staff it says staff sweep deals additional damage over time staff sweep damage ten percent uh, two type error here by looks of it, it says zero moon staff conscious favor generation zero moon staff damage 10 percent and then we've got tools of vengeance nunchuck so we generate two conscious favor when you hit with nunchuck builders that is that particular skill there and 10 percent damage crescent snare gets buffed as well it gets a six second cooldown but it gains a damage buff and it it can't be resisted and then for the final line we have vengeance above all so avatar of vengeance bonus effects Maximum health restored cannot exceed 40% of your maximum health, but it gives you a base attack speed of 30% and critical hit chance of 100% there. So that's really quite nice. That would add on to that particular one there. And then we have Terrifying Visage of Conchu. So Statue of Conchu bonus effects. Enemies deal 25% less damage to you and take 25% more from your power. And terrifies lesser enemies than any effect. And then finally, when you activate Statue of Conchu or Avatar of Vengeance, eh, Vengeance, the other will also activate for free. So it's nice if you're finding you're running low on toolbar space, you can activate one of these and the other one will actually activate as well there. So that is really nice. Now, I'm not sure if I covered this at the start. It's been a, well, it's not been that long of a video. It's only been four and a half minutes, but it feels long because I don't know what I'm talking about on midnight. But I'll run over this again just in case I didn't miss it. So you've no longer got spirit on Moon Knight which is great because he was very spirit hungry it's Conscious Favour and really the more you attack you build this which in turn allows you to fire off these two skills here so he's definitely interesting I think after the rework now he's not going to have the spirit problems he's got a little bit more mobility I think I'll definitely check him out and have a look at him so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all again soon <laughs>